Greetings. Once again, this is uh, your elder brother, Black Light. I'm going to give a summary of mostly what I've been trying to convey to my viewing and listening audience. This goes out to the whole planet. I've been born, I was born and raised in Detroit. I've been born twice, maybe three times, into where I'm at now. A mature adult capable of reasoning things out for myself on the planet for 71 years so I should know a little something about a little something See, this is not a, uh, originally, this is not our culture. American culture is foreign to everybody on the planet, all the other cultures on the planet. Uh, it's a mixture of... of a lot of cultures gone bad. It's the unrighteous side of, of righteousness. See, righteousness can be a culture. When you try to be righteous, which carries, uh, you know, that word righteousness has a, a positive vibration to it. But it got lost under the dominant influence of a Caucasian race. Um, get right to the point. They, you know, the Caucasian want us to forget about uh, the horrendous way she grew her culture up. The horrendous way uh, she broke treaties and slaughtered the Indian, the Chinese, Japanese. And last, last but not least, the Aboriginal Asiatic black man, father of the human being. When she came and got us, uh, when she made her bid for world dominance she came and got us to work her cotton fields tobacco fields sugar cane fields for free treating us in the worst condition you don't even treat your your cattle and your animals the way you treated the black man and you want us to forget about that But you don't want to give us what's due to us. You don't want to make us whole. And your court system 
civil cases, you always talking about making someone whole. Well, you never did make the Aboriginal, African, Asiatic, black man whole. You destroyed our mind. You destroyed our mind. You took our culture, language, everything away. And this destroys a man when you do this. This makes, makes them totally dependent on the one who destroyed him, which is the Caucasian. We're going to stretch this one out a little bit. We're going to go longer than seven minutes because we're summarizing. Now, all those uh, leaders and teachers that we had, they were here for a reason. You can't count none of them out. All of them had their place. All of them had their place. So, the one who influenced me the most was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Because he broke it down everything down where a baby could understand it. If those people who ever heard him, black or white, didn't comprehend the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, it's because they didn't want to. Or they want you to think that they did, they, they, they want you to think that he was bad for you see I, I heard a brother say why do God just come to one man why he can't come to everybody see when Elijah was teaching Everybody didn't understand what he was saying. Because they're not ready for it. Sometimes you're not ready for God. You say, what you talking about? A lot of times, God is already there with you. Most of the time, God is already there with you. But you don't hear and you don't see him. So you got to go to someone that you think that is full of God. Someone that influences you. He's, you make him God over you. But really, teachers are here to teach not to be your God. You are your God. You are your own God. The master of your own destiny. Your own ship. What Elijah did was show us our history going back almost 76 trillion years ago up until our future, to the present, to our future. And we were supposed to live accordingly. But we wasn't ready for it. Just like, just like they weren't ready for Jesus, the one y'all called Jesus, he was ahead of his time. But Elijah was on time for most of us, or a lot of us. 
We just didn't have faith and we let someone else knock us off our square. So, we're trying to get back on track. And we're trying to unify. And we're trying to keep the young ones' mind focused on righteousness. So, you know, I'm here to, to try to show us how to be righteous and how to think for ourselves, how to unite. If you want that, that, that white man's foot to get up off your neck, stop killing you. You want your own kind, your own brothers and sisters to stop killing each other and aiming at you. We're going to show you how to do it. I know I grew up in, the, in Detroit in the rough neighborhoods and rough neighborhoods like everybody else. But I know how to maneuver. So this is Black Light. Saying stay tuned.